Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. Today in our video we are going to see this simple concept why should one not enable bare parts or standalone parts in a Kubernetes cluster whether it is GKE or a Kubernetes cluster in on-premise or in any other cloud provider. Let's look into it. So I am in one of the official documents uh, kubernetes.io page where they talk about bare metals uh, sorry bare parts my bad. So when you see this piece basically we had seen this concept when the pod gets deleted or the node gets restarted basically the pod will not be able to come up the self-healing capability is not there so we had also seen this in our video so if you search for pods you should get that as the first video which we had seen so this one the default uh, pods was a uh, so sorry this one my bad what is the difference between a deployment object and a pod? We had seen this concept. So this is one reason why you should not use. And they say, even if it is basically a single job, you're going to use a standalone job. Basically, you can use job as the uh, controller object, but don't use uh, single standalone uh, or bare parts. That's one reason. Another option uh, why you should not use is when you're doing auto scaling. Again, I'm in the GitHub page, official GitHub page from Kubernetes. So where you see what are the types of parts that prevents uh, cluster auto scaling, the this part. So one of the options which is going to prevent that is parts that are not backed by a controller object, meaning a standalone pod or a bare pod. So it is not wrapped around a deployment, uh, a stateful a replica set, stateful set, all those things, a job or a cron job. This is going to create problems. So if you have such parts like this, basically what is going to happen? Uh, auto scaling will not happen. So basically the scale down will not happen is what I would like to uh, highlight it. Basically, these are two important concepts. But uh, can we basically see this kind of stuff in reality? Yes, it is possible. So uh, if I just go to my Kubernetes cluster, so I'm not going to run a demonstration completely, but I have an instance which has the same issue. Just wanted to highlight that. So I have a Kubernetes cluster. So if I look into my cluster, it's a two node Kubernetes cluster. And if I click on the details of this Kubernetes cluster, so you see two scaling issues. I'll come to that in a minute. But before that, I just wanted to highlight uh, this Kubernetes cluster is having one node pool. That node pool has auto scaling enabled folks. So and if you look into it, it is minimum one nodes, maximum four nodes. So if there is a load on it, maximum it can scale up to four nodes. And there is no load on it. It should literally should have scaled down to one. Uh, I have provisioned this cluster for a long time. It is not scaling down to uh, basically one node. The reason is because of because of a workload which I have. So what is that workload? This workload. It is of type pod. This one is not going to create a problem, but a standalone pod is going to create a problem. And you can very clearly see when you look at the Kubernetes cluster details, it is already showing that option two scaling issues occurred in the cluster. So if I look into the details of it, you will see this one, you can ignore it for now. So this one pod is blocking the scale down because it is not backed up by a controller. Something very similar is what we see it here. The pod that is not backed up by a controller object. So various controller objects are there deployment, um, daemon set, stateful set, um, jobs, cron jobs. So it's not wrapped by or it is not uh, backed up by this controller object. That is the reason why it is failing. So very clearly says and they give a recommendation. If you can have this annotation, basically this could be resolved. Now, let me go into the details of it. So we have only two nodes. So if I basically look into this, so I have written this command, uh, kubectl command, get the details. So there are two parts. So this is a, a backed up by basically a deployment object. This is a standalone part. That's what we saw uh, even here. Even here we saw the same thing. So now and uh, if you look into this command, so we had used some similar command in our uh, this video where we uh, learned the difference between deployment object and part. So this is basically using the filters where I'm using a custom filter where I have got only the pod name, the IP address and basically the node in which it is running. Now, uh, and I have another command which basically shows the two node uh, details. So if you see there are two nodes, one ending with 
M8ZV, another ending with uh, RFJK. So if you see here, both of my parts are running in the first node. Now, smart people can ask this question. Anyway, this is only running on the first node. Why don't you basically scale down the uh, other node? Possible question, right? It's a very smart question. So the answer is basically, if I run the same command, kubectl get pods, but I use all namespaces and run it. This is the highlight of the demo, I would say. If I run it, you will see there are two, uh, there are good amount of system related uh, pods, something like uh, GKE uh, metrics, then cube proxy, cube DNS. Look into those things. All of them are running in my second node, which uh, ends with RF. Uh, JK, sorry, JH. So meaning both are basically locked here. So that is the reason why my Kubernetes cluster is not scaling down to one node. So then what is the solution? Basically, you go and apply that uh, annotation. This is the recommendation which is going to be given. So this is the main reason why one should not use uh, bare pods or standalone pods in any scenarios. So for testing purpose, you can definitely do it. But when you are develop, deploying something on a production system, uh, back it up with a job, cron job, deployment object or a stateful set. That is always going to be a good choice because in most of the time in production systems, you would have turned on cluster level auto scaling. So otherwise you will get into this problem. Hope the uh, video is uh, helpful. Thank you for watching.